Hi, my name is Anne. And my name is Diogo. Yeah. Diogo. <laughs> uh, and this is my channel, Lilacs and Lilies. Um, I just thought I would give some context for our vlog today. Uh, we went back to Diogo's hometown, which is called Piau. And we Piau. went to visit his friend's farm. So this is kind of a bit of a mix of little clips and then also some of the things that we learned while we were at the farm. Just because I'm a huge nerd about like stuff that grows here and things. So we got to see some trees and we got to see a we got to eat something. Yeah. Some animals too. We didn't eat some animals, but we ate some cacao and we saw some animals. So yeah. If that sounds kind of fun and just to hear some fun facts about Brazilian agriculture a little bit, then go ahead and stick around and I hope you enjoy the vlog. Bye. Bye guys. Good morning. Está querendo uma bebida? É porque ali é onde eles ficam. Ah. Isso é easy for girls. Let's just hang out. Don't let me in, bro. Cadê o som? Bubá. Bubá. Oi. Cadê a luz? Não tem luz. Não temos luz? Não. Mas o que aconteceu? Chuva. A chuva. A chuva, sério? Foi a chuva. Foi a chuva, Brenda. Tu acha? Não, assim a gente vai usar velas e lanternas de celular, né? Massa. Romântico. Romântico. E curtir a lanternas. Isso. So this here is a cacao tree and you get these pods and if you open excuse you <laughs> And you get these pods and then when you open it you get that slimy stuff we have i'll put a link to the other video but you can see the inside and it changes to this color it'll start <laughs> i know uh so brenda just said that when you get them that are a little bit green like this 
You can't see very well with the light, but they're not ready yet. But you have to wait and then they'll get a little bit more mature like that. Or you get these ones here that are this really beautiful red color. And it sounds like the other different colors depending on the variety. But this one, see, it looks a little different than the one we looked at before because the texture is a bit different and the color is different. But look at that. Oh, and also as a side note, it's a peggy jack, I don't know. I think that's jackfruit. It's not kind of no. Oh. There's lots of different cacao. You won't do that when you the skin of the garden here. Oh, shit. <laughs> and we have a random egg. Cool. Good day, guys. Having fun? Yeah. Mosquitoes too, so having fun with me. He said they start this size and then they turn into this size. And then I think they're gonna make me eat one. Are we making me eat something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Woohoo. Asi so vai so vida e e sai? Yeah, yeah, sim. Tudo bem. Cool. Cool. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Look. So this is the inside of the cacao, and it gets this like. Slimy. T oh God, it blah. <laughs> this is slimy texture, like we saw in the other one, but there was alcohol. The other one, remember? Oh. Yes. And it's wiggly. <laughs> Bye. What do you do with that? It's on the boys of face. Okay. Bye. 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 Não, não é para morder, é para é só pra, tipo, é tipo chupar, né? É pra... Vai tirando o vidro. É gostoso. Uhum. 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 Ah, bom. É. Você não vai morder, você só vai tirando essa, essa capinha dele. Ele é cítrico. <risos> Deixa eu ver esse cacau se tá aí doce. Não, que eu gosto. Aí eu gosto. Eles vão pra carnuda. It has this, mm -hmm. like, it has a citrusy flavor, but then it's, like, super slimy on the outside. And it doesn't go away. It just kind of stays there. Uh. So if you're weird about texture, I probably wouldn't encourage it, but the flavor is really good. Hum. Sinto mole. Não vai gostar, não, não, não. Se morder assim, ela tá me lembrando. Eu quase sentei nesse ovo. Juro por Deus. <risos> Mas você vai tirando ela. Uhum. Ai! Sim, told you. So it's slippery. É boba. So you get this like slimy texture. And then on the inside, you would have to dry it. Tem que secar, né? And then you dry it. And, then, and then you toast it. Oh, like that? Yes. Oh, sweet. Okay, here's your difference. So you get this white part on the outside and you can take it apart and then this comes out. And this, you have to dry it, toast it, and then you can... Também tem que moer. And then, yeah, so then you have to... Moer moe, 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 moe. You have to grind it. But you can get cacao nibs from this. So like, you know, all of our fitness, we love a cacao nib. And then, but you can turn it into chocolate. Depois de seco e... Uhum. e so it's super torrado. weird, there you go. So here's the original, so it goes from here to that, to that, and then... To chocolate. <laughs> Só que tem um detalhe, outro detalhe, quando a gente tira ele pra vender, como a gente tira, tipo assim, ah, pega, colhe muito cacau, o pessoal não vai ficar descascando um por um. Oh, então yeah. esse aqui é colocado, tipo assim, a gente espreme ele numa prensa, uh. aí sai tipo o néctar dele, uhum. E depois disso, o que a gente tirou, ele vai ficar mais ou menos tipo assim. Depois que a gente espreme ele, ele vai ficar tipo esse. Ah, Aí joga dentro de um coxo pra ele fermentar. Ok. Oh, claro. Aí depois que ele fermenta. Uhum. E esse processo de fermentação dele também, a amêndoa absorve um pouquinho da, do, do, das propriedades né, da parte de fora. Ah, dentro desse processo de fermentação. Uhum. Aí depois Aos. seca, depois torra, moe e faz o chocolate. Aulas, aulas. So before here we have Fazenda, which is farm, and then Boa Vista, which is beautiful view, kind of. 
And there used to be horses here, sounds like. I'm trying not to step on the poop. Because we are going to go find a friend. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Okay, so this is a different style of um, bovine, I should say. Because usually I think we're used to in the U.S. like an Angus or um, <clears throat> maybe... I mean, you could even... There's a couple different varieties. I'm literally blanking. But I think Black Angus, Red Angus are ones of the most typical. And these here are called Brahma. So these are a different style for hot weather. And these are super common in Brazil to have. However, most of the time the Brahma that we see are white most of the time, right? And so these are ones I actually don't normally see them when they're black black usually they avoid black because of the heat they'll absorb that like black angus but these guys over here sound like they're doing just fine but yeah this is kind of cool so we've got a couple different um colorings here but yeah that brahma is really unique and we see it because of the skin see how she's her ears are floppy brahma. they're kind of low horse I was promised horses, so I guess that counts. And then there's a little... <laughs> so this here... I think we're saying that this could be a... Since it's a dairy cow, it's probably... They've been mixed with... Um, I think he said uh, like a Dutch breed or maybe even... You know, we see like our Jersey cattle that will produce more milk. So they've been kind of crossed. But look, look at those ears so you can see how flappy they are. And she's got some extra skin. It's not as much as like a Brahma purebred, but... Kind of crazy. Bubba, what happened? Why are we going? It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Are you having fun? I think it's comical that you would see a bunch of cows just in shorts and flip-flops. It's literally... See, it's so weird. We see the blue up there and then it just starts to dump on us. Oh, I vi ele. Ele tava aqui antes também. Look at those trees though. Holy shit. There's that line of them. So pretty.